Hello, everybody, and welcome to JoJo Runs for Congress. Happy New Year! 2020! Woohoo! We made it! We oh, man. We are alive. Who knew that four years ago we would be here? <laughs> uh, today we are with Joanne. Yes. Just you Joanne are with me. today. Today's podcast is not sponsored by, but I would like to give a shout out because I'm wearing it right now, I realized. Oh, but Purple Heart Healing Hand Scrubs. I used to be a big Grey's Anatomy scrub girl, but all you nurses out there know we're really particular about our scrub fabric. But Healing Hands Purple Heart has never let me down. This is not an ad. I'm just telling you, when you're sweating, but it will make sure... But if they want sure... to sponsor us... <laughs> It's like it dries right away. I'm just... <laughs> okay, fine. I'm just dreaming, though, we had a sponsor that might just pinch in. Oh, and our guest host today is our target dog, our little baby size. He's like, what, like six inches tall? Is it Target he's Canada? This tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah Canada. it's Target Canada. Which doesn't exist anymore. No, Target Canada doesn't exist anymore. You actually gave me that dog. I did. It was when a I surprise gift. I used to work gift. at Target, yep. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. long time ago. Mm-hmm. I gave you two and you gave one away. I did. You, I gave wish... away, you gave away the cuter one. I did. I, I gave away the fatter one. It was cute. It was cute. Okay. Well. Goals for today's podcast. Go. Goals for today's podcast. We want to talk about our New Year's resolutions, if you've made any, and also the 2020, the theme for the year 2020. And by theme, I mean, uh, basically, it's the how you want to live the entire year. A resolution is like a very actionable item, right? Yes. But uh, I, I, this is a, another podcast I listen to um, from the YouTuber CGP Gray. Uh, he's one of the hosts. Um, and they like to talk every year about their yearly theme, which is how they're going to try to live their entire year. Every Everything they do in the year, they want to always have this in mind as directing their their mindset uh, directing their actions, perhaps. It's not as specific as like, oh, well, I want to get healthy. Like, I want to go to the gym. That's a resolution. Resolutions are lame and made to be broken. But Debatable. if resolutions help you, then that's good. I don't like them. It's like the diet. The best diet for you to be on is the one you stick to. I like that. Mic drop. My sister said that to me. Mic drop. <laughs> My goal for this podcast, because mm-hmm. I just watched the one we filmed last night on December 31st, New Year's Eve, mm-hmm. and I realized that my eye makeup, my eyelashes stick together, and I roll my eyes a lot. And I'm also staring off into nowhere, and we have a new angle. So if it feels like I'm staring too much at the camera, it's because I am. Mm-hmm. So I think we need a good mix of back and forth. Yes. Look at each other. Do we look at each other? At Do I look at the camera? Who am I looking at? Just whatever feels natural at the my moment. My soul. Okay. Well, Jamie, mm-hmm. hit it off with the questions because nobody cares about you today. It's all about me. <laughs> Rude. I'm just kidding. I love all right. you. <laughs> so I gave you some I'm homework. I'm feeling saucy. I gave okay, you some yes. homework. You did. After the podcast yesterday. Yes. I said, when you're at work tomorrow, if you have some time, I know you're busy. You're a nurse. Very busy, busy, busy. Today was a good day. Good. It wasn't bad. If you have time when you're working, try to think about your resolutions for the coming year and a yearly theme. Okay. That was all your homework. There's not going to be another, there's no There's no elevator pitch today. This is a very specific podcast. Got it. You had time. Did you think about these things? I did work? think about it. Oh, I'm actually surprised, you know. Yes. I didn't think you were going to. I thought you were going to try to think them on, on the way home from work. I mean, I thought about it in the morning. I didn't think about it during the day. But when we were coming home, oh, I finalized so I was, exactly I right. what I wanted to say. Okay. Well, so tell me, what res, well, do you want to start with resolutions or themes? Let's start with themes. Okay. So what is... What theme do you want for 2020? And keep in mind, like, you should be able to encompass it in, like, some sort of phrase. And then you can kind of describe what it means. My theme for 2020 is to be kinder to myself. Okay. So, explain. Well... How I define myself and what I define as confidence has changed. It's changed a lot in the past three years, especially <laughs> especially since I moved back to Philly and was working and going to school full time and really figured out what it meant to be an adult mm-hmm. with adult responsibilities and feeling the weight of adult-like responsibilities. And 
my definition of success when I graduated from college looked very different from what I define as success now. Mm. So my goal for 2020 is to be kinder to myself and just to be open-minded in how I define success and define confidence and to forgive myself for the, the things that I think I unfairly judge myself for. Okay. Are we going to be really specific here? Because As specific gonna... as you want. The okay. podcast is about you. It, it if is If there's time me. for me to talk, then that's just gravy. <laughs> it's just gravy. There's no... Am I the turkey? Do yeah. turkey and gravy go together? Yes, they yes. do. Well, I don't like gravy. I mean, part of it is health. It's... Mental health is the biggest one for me. Mm-hmm. This past year and a half was the most challenging two-ish years for mental health and by that i mean just being able to move past difficult situations with your dignity intact i guess is the way that i can say it and without letting all of the emotions and the pure fear and uncertainty immobilize you. Mm. Up until this point in my life, everything was very clear cut. You know, it's do X, get Y, you know, graduate from college, get degree, get job. And all of a sudden, you know, my master plan to work in academia and get a PhD was sidelined by a lot of factors i mean the biggest one is my student loans which we really should do a whole podcast about Gone. yeah and then you know i started to doubt my choices and everything that i had dis- like all the choices i'd made since i was 17 years old and left for college and just being able to say hey like it's you don't feel okay and your situation is really scary and it's uncertain and it's not what you want it to be but it is what it is and you have two choices right now you can sit there and wallow around in it and just pity yourself and feel as though it was better or you can say hey you i'm gonna i'm gonna face this head on and tell myself i'm okay even though i don't feel like it sometimes but yeah i guess that would be the biggest what was the question originally? I don't even remember what he theme. asked me. My theme, yes. <laughs> explain Why? what it means. Explain what that theme <laughs> means, yes. Because uh, a lot of things in my life have not gone as planned. Yeah. I had imagined that by this age, I would have had one kid. I don't know if he's shocked or not. I would have I mean, finished so. a PhD 27 program. years old. Yeah. yeah, I'm 27, so you know, finished or been halfway through a PhD program, would have already been an established researcher, would have worked in health policy for the federal government, um, centers of Medicare and Medicaid, or done internships in Washington, D.C., but I never got to a place where I felt comfortable enough to take financial risks. Mm. So... Being able to say that, hey, your one, two, three, four, five step plan didn't work out and that's okay is a big step for me because I think what happens to a lot of students that are quote unquote smart, they're told they're supposed to be great and everything's going to be phenomenal and you're going to conquer the world. And then when things don't go to plan, all of a sudden you're like, what am I doing with my life? And things fall apart. And it's funny how... Nobody can prepare you for that, or maybe we don't prepare kids well by, you know, highlighting quote unquote smart kids and not appreciating people's talents for their creativity versus Mm -hmm. their pure academic grades. Mm -hmm. Although I hope I was a creative person, but I think a lot of people just saw the numbers and said, oh, you're going to be X, Y, Z because of this. But that wasn't really me. Right. Um... Or what made me tech. So I guess stepping away from the theme itself for a second, yeah. how are you going to make sure that you are keeping this this theme in mind? Because unlike a resolution, right, where like I mean, I guess it can be it can be similar to a resolution where like when people mess up on their resolution once, mm-hmm. they usually just throw it out the window, right? Do they normally? That's what a lot of people do, right? Yeah. Like it just peters yeah, out. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. So like this could be this can be seen as something similar. Like, but this is like a, just a mindset you need to keep for the whole year. And if you mess up on it, that's fine. But the point of the theme is to help yourself grow 
and to see that at the end of the year, you, you want to be able to look back and be like, you know what? Yeah, I was kinder to myself, right? That's what you said your theme is? Mm-hmm. I do have one thing that I used to do. What's that? And I used to tell other people to do this all the time. Every day you look yourself in the mirror and you say whatever phrase you need to say to yourself to get yourself in the right mindset Mm -hmm. to conquer your day. So for me, when I was a kid, I used to say, you are beautiful, you are intelligent, and you are capable, and you're compassionate. And it just... Almost like saying it to yourself was a way of making it happen, like a self-fulfilling prophecy. And I know some people may be like, oh my God, that's so, who, who, hoity-toity, not hoity-toity. Just like, you know, help me out here. Film me. I don't know. Fine. But, (laughs) (laughs) you know, I was like, oh, that's all wishy-washy. Like, you just gotta be, you just gotta be. But when your identity is defined so much by all, by how other people see you, Sometimes it takes a lot of work to build an identity that you that you have created yourself. Mm-hmm. Because so much of my identity growing up was that smart Asian chick that just like does all of these things. But that was what people projected as Marcus was discussed on me. But my the way I identified myself was how well I connected with people. Mm-hmm. So that would be the affirmations every day is one thing that I would start to practice to okay. eventually indoctrinate in myself being able to be kind to myself especially when you're a woman and the world's always telling you you have too much makeup you have too little makeup you're wearing too little you're wearing too much your clothes are too froppy your clothes are too froppy floppy or your clothes are too saggy it's never it's never exactly what it needs to be unlike men that literally have one outfit Mm. and one haircut yeah Except you do have to shave every day, I think. But I don't want to. Well, if we find our razor, <laughs> I don't know where the handle went. It's somewhere in the bathroom. <laughs> um, Harry's flamingo. By the way, same ex- same exact blades. I'm pretty sure. Do you think so? Yes, same exact handle too. Oh, the I handle think, definitely. Was we know this from Positive Save America. The Harry's isn't that the commercial where they like, cut out the middleman, yeah. the German razor blade yeah. thing? Oh Two my god! Two people from. About the blade, the blade company, the and German, factory, blade yeah. factory. Yeah, we basically just did an advertisement <laughs> for Harry's. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I listen oh, to no, too much Pot to America. <laughs> I know all their ads. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Next question, please. Well, I want to say my theme. Okay, go ahead. Real say quick, your theme. I, I get like one one hundredth of the time that you take. <laughs> go ahead. It's your. You are the producer. So my theme. Uh, my theme. I think I can encompass it in one word, and that the word is do. And what I mean by oh. do is I don't want to, like, I, I I have a lot of ideas, right? Like, I have a lot of ideas about things I want to do, and I, like, say, oh, this would be really cool. And then, like, nothing really comes of it. And this is a very common thing for a lot of people. But for this year, I want to actually work on these things. And, like, I want to every day be thinking to myself, what can I do to help drive one of these these ideas forward? Whether it's a podcast or something, getting a job or, I mean, I don't know, whatever. I have a billion different ideas. They're all he stupid. Does. No, they're great. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's, that's really how I want to try to define this year. Because now that I'm done with school and I feel like I'm going to have I'm going to have to fill that time. I mean, not just with you know getting a job and working, but I'm going to have a lot of time where I'm not going to do homework when I'm home. I need to fill that time doing something else constructive. Mm-hmm. Not just, and yeah, like leisure is important, but not just with leisure time. Like, What do you think is missing that would enable you to actually bring an idea from a concept to a full-blown project and follow through? So I... I, I know the answer to this, but I'm going to let... Do you? I do. That's a, I'll see. What I think the issue is, is that like, for me, the biggest problem is the beginning of something is, is the like the first like couple weeks or something. The first, the, the amount of time it takes to make something have it, right? Where it's something you do every day. Because like, I, I might be fine like working on something and doing something for like a week or whatever, and I'll be really into it. But then like... I struggle to get over that hump 
um, to make it something that I do every day and think about every day and I make it part of my my um my daily game plan. He doesn't write anything down. I <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> if you it would really help if you were able to write things down, you're write down the right. requirements, you're... the timeline, the benchmarks. You're right. I'm a project management nerd. But I think that's all that you're missing is just like a, a repository for all the ideas you have. Yeah. That you can actually look at them and say, this is where I am. And then taking, being able to multitask working in more than one project at mm. a time. Yeah. Which is hard, which is really hard. So yeah. anybody that works in any management position where you have to manage multiple projects at a time, like I, I feel you. Yeah. But I think, easy. I think that's something. And I'm going to need your help with that, I think. I think we can try to help each other. Planner. With our themes. Google Calendar. I'm gonna need your active help with that. Act okay. I can. I am more than happy to give you my active I'm, help. I know. I know. <laughs> anyway, moving away from me because I'm boring. You're not boring. He's Resolutions, not boring because I don't he, have anything to say here. He's really great on camera. I just want to say, I I, like yesterday, I was just like pushing you out of the frame. You, that's true. I want to be in the middle. <laughs> this is true, actually. Okay, fine. <laughs> no, no, no. You're, you're fine. Okay. You're fine where you were. You're be, right, right okay, here. Thank you. Fine. I like to be in the center spotlight. Okay. Anyway. Resolutions. If you have anything um, a little more actionable, right? Because that's that's really what a resolution is. It's more of like a, a defined thing that you're going to do. That can be the very generic, I'm going to go to the gym. Uh, or like a lot of people, I know I've seen a lot of people say like, oh, I want to like disconnect from social media a little bit more. Like don't get into Twitter fights or whatever. <laughs> I know you don't do that, but that's some people. I don't. <laughs> I've seen some people saying that. So, what do you, is something a little more actionable? Do you have anything? Actionable resolutions? Going to the gym has been a resolution for, but yeah. you know, let's just toss the going to the gym out of the window. Let's say taking an hour out of my day to do an activity where I'm not listening or watching anything, but I'm just focused on what my body and my mind is feeling. Okay. I.e. whether that be going to do an activity like a working out exercise where I'm actively thinking about how uncomfortable I feel when I start running and like embracing it. Mm -hmm. Or if I'm journaling where I'm actively thinking about how my hand is getting tired, my mind is getting tired, but just actually spending time with myself, Mm -hmm. which is something I, especially I think with the advent of social media and the internet, that we've lost the ability to spend time with just ourselves. Like, even okay. when you go to the gym, you're still listening to a podcast. Oh, all the time. Instead of, like, you know, spending that time in your own mind and your own thoughts. Mm-hmm. And I think it's incredibly valuable to be in tune with how your body's feeling. I have a problem when I get within my own thoughts. <laughs> well, you start, he starts arguing with I argue himself, with myself. Which is fine. That's a good exercise. I know exercise. a lot of people do that. But I do, yeah. and like I talk out loud, I, which is weird. But I do it talk out loud when I'm driving. I talk out loud. If I do I'm not too. listening to a podcast. Yeah. But like I will argue with myself such that, like I I'll, I'll go in with like something I want to like think about to myself, right, or talk yes. to about talk to myself about, mm-hmm. and then like I'll I'll be talking about it, and like, I'll argue with myself, like say the other side, but I'll never reach like the end because I'll keep going down these like tangents. And like coming back around and like being very circular. And like when after I go down a tangent so far and I finish that tangent, I come, I jump back to the beginning and I try to summarize everything. So I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I never actually finish my conversations with myself. You're exploring all perspectives. I do, but it's not like, I guess it's kind of productive, but it's not like, I wish I could like finish, you know? I think he just likes to argue. <laughs> I do like to argue. It's very true. What? 20 minutes. We're fine. We have a few minutes. Oh, we do? The last episode was 22 minutes long. Oh, okay. 22 minutes. Because well, that was with our all anxiety, which you got copyright claimed on. Well, <laughs> apparently my voice, my singing voice sounds so similar oh, to a copyright song. It's so beautiful, like song. an angel. Debatable. But it, you, it was wait. marked for copyright. Yeah, well, it'll be fine. Do you have any other resolutions? Anything other? Anything else that's actionable? Act, I mean, spending time with myself is one thing. I mean, that's, I'm just going to focus on one. I think at the start of the year, if I take on too much, then I get overwhelmed. And if we're talking about like smart goals, Mm -hmm. keeping it small and and simple is much better for me. Good one. And I forgot it. What was it related to? Like something you do, something you say. 
I could probably clean the kitchen more. I like cleaning the kitchen, though. Full confession, Jamie is a, a beast with household maintenance. So if you are looking for any consulting household maintenance services, <laughs> this is your man. <laughs> um, something, all right, maybe maybe a, one resolution. And this is like maybe more of a, it's like an evolution of something that I started doing the past like year and a half or so. Mm-hmm. I I want to cook more. Oh. Like, I've already been cooking like a good bit for us, right? Yes. Like... Not so we haven't. I haven't cooked since the holidays because we got sent home like so much food, mm-hmm. and we're gonna be able to survive on that for like probably another week and a half or more. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I do want to cook even more than I've been cooking. Um, and I really, I really wish we could like really try to like not eat out. <laughs> oh, it's so. Hard I know. The it's last, so easy. The first thing I want when I've had a long day at work. <laughs> McDonald's is just oh, what so fixes all of my I problems. I well, know. I mean that's that's being in tune with your social, with yeah. not your social, your emotional, just how you're feeling emotionally, and mm-hmm. being able to I, like self medicating with McDonald's is not yeah. what I want to do. I want right. to be able to survive yeah, without it. But I want to cook. I want to cook more. I already cook a good bit, but like if I could cook like. What happened to dine three in December? Three or feel three or four meals a day. A day, Jesus. Three or four meal d- d- meals a week, like full meals. I think that'd be awesome. And oh, oh I want meal a meal plan. prep. Meal prep. Vegetables. But we have to come to an agreement on what we're going to eat because I don't I know. Yeah, we need thing. a meal plan and we need to meal prep. And you need to suck and up you eating. you eat too much pasta. We've had like one thing of pasta the past month. I know, but I, I'm not a pasta you person. Need, you need to suck up eating the same thing multiple days in a row. I probably that's would her big problem. lose weight She's and like, my oh, I just had this cholesterol yesterday. would be better and my sugar, blood sugar would be better if I just ate the same thing. It's good each day. Yeah. I want more vegetables though. Like, yes. We don't well, really we'll, do we'll a lot of vegetables. We'll figure it out. Okay. We should really blog But that's that. going to be enough yes. for today. That is enough for today. We should, we should, we, we need, you need to start blogging. I guess I need yeah. a blog too, but I don't need a blog on here, I think. I do need... I will. I, I'm going to start doing policy pods. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pods? Pods. Podcasts? Policy. Yeah. We'll oh. have a one... one uh, Every other one will do a policy pod. Okay. Where I know people are here really to find out what does she think about policy, so we'll talk about policy. You but, ask me a question, and I will answer. Yeah. Okay. Well, that'll do it for us today. Thank you for uh, tuning in to JoJo Runs for Congress, the Happy 2020. 2020 edition. Ooh, very exciting. Um, if you want to follow up on the campaign, you can go to the website and all that stuff at... Mantilla2020.com. Mm-hmm. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at JoJo for Congress. Mm-hmm. On, and on Facebook is also Mantilla2020.com. Mm-hmm. And if you Google me, I you will find me. And Twitter? <laughs> yes. And Twitter, yes. I said Instagram, Twitter, oh, you did JoJo Twitter. for okay. Congress. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a good day. Have a good day. What a campaign. Bye-bye. Bye.